What's up guys, my name is ESO and welcome to the channel where I show you cool things in Fallout 4. A lot of people have been asking me how to get the heavy synth armor, and specifically where to get this mask. It's actually one of my favorite masks in the game, and if I'm honest, it's probably the best looking part about the whole armor set. So full heavy synth armor with no upgrades will give you 112 physical armor. That's one more than full heavy combat armor, and it has an energy resistance of 131 which again is better than combat armor which, which only has 111 energy resistance. In fact, the only full set of armor that comes out slightly on top is the metal or robot armors, because they have a physical damage resistance of 134, but you have to sacrifice your energy resistance which is only 81. So overall, the heavy synth armor may not look that amazing, but it is in fact the best full set faction armor that you can get, excluding the ballistic weave mod. And if you have the crafting skill, you can of course improve it even further. If you use the nano filament upgrade, it further improves our damage resistance to 187 and your energy resistance to 211. And you can also mod it to decrease the weight and increase your action points or whatever else you want. So ESO, where do I actually get this armor? Now there are two ways to get this armor. The harder way is to go out into the wasteland and kill synths who wear it so you can loot it off their corpses. Firstly, that will take you a while to do and secondly, the pieces that you find in the wasteland will be all scratched so up and damaged, as you can see in the video, like this helmet. So if you want a nice, clean, undamaged version, you must go to the Institute. Starting from the ground floor atrium, just look for the green symbol above the door, and then head into that area. Apparently a lot of people didn't actually realise that there was an armoury shop in the Institute, but here it is. So just talk to the guy behind the counter and there's a chance that he'll be selling synth armour. The higher your level, the it higher the you chance of you getting heavy synth armor. So for example, if you're like level 10, you might only get sturdy synth armor. But if you're level 20, there's a higher chance of you getting that heavy synth armor. He'll also be selling the Mark 1, 2, 3, and 4 legendary pieces of armor that you can also buy if you're interested. So I've already got full heavy synth armor, but um, sometimes he's not selling all the right pieces. So what you do is buy the pieces that you need, and then exit the shop, and now we're going to reset his inventory. All you need to do is come over here and find somewhere to sit or sleep, and then just wait 48 hours. Once you go back to him, his inventory will reset and he'll have new items to buy. So that's the faster way of getting yourself this armor set. Now just to warn you, there is a bug where the shopkeeper won't update their inventory, regardless of your level. I actually had that bug on one of my other characters. So if you do have that bug, just wait until you're around level 25. The higher your level, the better chance of finding it. And then come to the top right of the map. Head over here to Sandy Old People's Home. It's just here on the map. Or you can even go to the fishing place, which is over here. At both of these locations, you'll encounter synths. There's a random chance that these synths will be wearing the heavy armor or the field helmet. I suggest that you save the game before you actually enter the location or before the simps show up, so you can just keep reloading the game if you don't get it. And that's actually also a good way to farm legendary items too. I do hope that this video helped you guys out, please give it a like if it did, and you can also check out the description for more cool weapons and armor guides. Thanks again for watching, and I ESO will see you, loyal subscriber, in the next Fallout 4 video guide. Goodbye!